whether you have depression, anxiety, PTSD, if you have a serious emotional condition and you're not the way you normally are for you, there is a risk of this affecting your immune capability. And there's a whole field of psychoneuroimmunology. Back when I was a student, it was called psychosomatic medicine. And we knew that there was a correlation of emotional distress and the risk for physical disorder. Now, depending on the physical disease, uh, studies might show that it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get that disease in the first place, but it might trigger an episode of that disease. And think of all the diseases that are episodic. Uh, a classic one is irritable bowel syndrome. People who have a reactive gut know that when they get upset, they're more likely to have cramps and diarrhea and bloody stools. It goes with the territory. People who similarly have a reactive cardiovascular system are more likely to have heart arrhythmias, and it could be implicated in heart attack. If you have a combination of a heart attack and depression, you are more likely to have another heart attack. There's a lot of research on cancer and stress. Uh, there certainly were studies that showed people affected by earthquakes had a change in their immune system. And if your immune system is less efficient, you're more likely to have the diseases, the, the infections, the problems that come along with that condition. Then there are a whole host of diseases that have to do with overreaction of certain functions in the, in the body, uh, like lupus, which um, isn't caused by an infectious agent, but can affect the kidneys, the pericardium, uh, different parts of the body, and is stress-related. When I was younger, the term hypochondriasis was used. And a hypochondriac was somebody who complained a lot, complained physically, and often didn't seem to have a real basis for it. But then I studied at Johns Hopkins with a team that was as expert as could be at that point in time on the relationship between emotional conditions and physical disease. There is a clear, compelling relationship. Sometimes one precipitates the other, sometimes it's the reverse. So you can have a, uh, a physical cause of pain, and then you're emotional, anxious, depressed, upset with the pain, and there's a real cause. There is a, there's an infectious agent or there's an accident. And sometimes it's the other way around. The depression comes on, or you go through a stage of grief or trauma, and because this shifts your immune system and makes your immune system less effective, you're more vulnerable to physical disease. All of this is real, and it's not too wise to generalize. Specific diseases require specific remedies. And if you have, for example, a combination of depression and abdominal pain, it's good to get that abdominal pain evaluated.